Hello and welcome to my Clan of Anchors Grand Podcast, a weekly podcast where we figure out what we think about everything and we fix all of the problems of the world, except we don't because it's just a podcast. My name is Michael Forrest. And I'm Ivanka Magic. And this week in episode 166 million, we're going to talk about dark patterns, which is sort of relates to our field of sort of tech and building. And also in the background, there is going to be a relentless sound of a building site because there's now a building site outside my window. What's a dark pattern? A dark pattern is a, a design that is designed to trick people into doing something without them realising or tricking them into doing something they didn't want to do. Mm. That is what dark pattern is, Michael. I feel like I'm going to have to turn you up at this rate. Tricking. <laughs> no, I tried to be loud then. I, uh, it's a dark... I want to shout. Yeah, so where you try and trick someone, yeah, with your user interface. Trickery. So it's going to be... So on the stream, like, so this, we're recording this live, I am going to, like, mirror the window that shows, well, if we want to sort of reference some stuff, so... But we'll describe everything and make it podcasty, but just like, because we can, we'll just uh, kind of put some stuff up on the screen. So the video's there, that, that's for patrons, or you can tune in on twitch.tv slash Michael Forrest. Um, so... Um, well, I don't know who I'm talking to because I needed to tweet that what I just said rather than say it on the on the episode. <laughs> um, dark, yeah, we we've got so, so there's the, we'll we'll sort of there was some stuff on Twitter that you had, and then I just thought like Donald Trump was using it in his fundraising as well. Like there's some that sort of whole thing about the kind of massive checkbox with the thing that says you're going to be automatically billed a million times, sort of in tiny print at the bottom of the patriotic tirade um but yeah so that's that's what we'll do and also we've that's you know i'm going to talk about some of the my own experience uh with dark patterns so what, designing them or being tricked by them well wait and see <laughs> as we go into the episode is it going? How the hell's it going, Ivanka Magic? This morning, I sent off the first draft, the first bad draft of my book. So what? I am delighted. The only downside of that is that I now, I'm so tired that I look back on being tired and remember it fondly <laughs> back as on. an event in the past. That, you look uh, back on being tired as an event. Yeah, I'm so- yeah, it's like there's tired. There's a line where I was tired. That was about three or four weeks ago. Right, and now and I'm you're uh, so past tired that you know I remember fondly just being tired. Just being tired. I see. In the, in the, you know, as Ian Farrell once said to me at work, "You're about three or four weeks past your bedtime, aren't you?" <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Uh, other than that, uh, I how have. Many, which is that? How many, on, how many words? Loads of words. Loads. How many pages? How many words? I don't know. It's yeah, just how a big do you not know? Document. Do I do say? know, but I'm not telling you. Why not? Because I don't want to. Spoils. Thousands, me. thousands of words. Thousands of words. Okay. And obviously now I'm afraid of tone of voice. Is it right? Is it wrong? Have I? Are they all the wrong words? No, but I feel quite good actually that I've got a decent story. And uh, well, it's not really a story, obviously, is it? It's a how to do user research type thing. Um, but yes, I'm happy with that. I yeah, also good. got vaccinated for the first time. I had my first vaccine. Got a last-minute phone call going, do you want to come in tomorrow? And as I say this to you, I can't remember what day of the week that was. Dick and you? I don't Spoiler, know. Anyway, no, what? I got, <laughs> Yesterday was I got, Thursday. I got some I vaccine. Vaccine? Which one? Sore. Astra? Or? No. Well, it was a COVID one. <laughs> okay. It was the... Pfizer. Pfizer. Um, what else am I going to tell you? Uh, family story this week. Took the child to the doctors this week because before they start school here, they have to have a variety of tests. I may have mentioned this already, including blood tests and urine tests. What? A doctor wants to look at my wee? No. <laughs> was her response to that. Uh, but, we, you know, we discussed it and the wee was, was delivered without any great protest. She went for a blood test. No tears, we'd explained it all, it was all cool. Um, and then we turn up at the doctor's and the doctor spoke to me and not her. Mm. And 
as she was asking questions like family history, my daughter interrupts and goes, why are you telling her all these things about everybody? <laughs> and, which is a great question, isn't it? isn't it really? And I said, well, and I started answering and the doctor sort of went, I'm talking to your mother, not you. And then, so that started us off on a really good uh, line. And then a little while later, she looks at me and she says, take, strip her to her pants. My daughter just looked at me and went, no. <laughs> So, and I then had this moment of trying to evaluate. Well, what happened was, because this is where your person, this is what happened to me, is I was like, oh, the doctor said, we've got to do this, because the doctor said, I was like, take, mm. you know, she just wants, to, we discussed this, she wants to listen to your heart and your lungs, you know, you just need to take your clothes off. I don't want to, but I don't understand, but please do it, because then we've done and then we can go. Don't want to. Bleh. And then I felt, then I was like, I don't understand. You're being naughty. You're not listening to me. And then afterwards I got out and I was like, well, actually, she has every right to say, no, I don't want to take my clothes off. Especially when the woman asking her to do it is talking to her, me and not yeah. her. So we had a conversation about the difference between listening to your mother and also telling people to sod off when they ask you to do something that you don't want to. Anyway, so it's a little bit of a parenting experience and for you me. You just said, just remember that the rules of society all go out the window when it comes to doctors. Yes. And they can <laughs> make you do whatever they want. Exactly. <laughs> and that doesn't make us uh, smack talking doctors, though, because uh, my husband's not? A, a GP. And so well, is her husband. The, um, and <laughs> I think this doctor was just a little bit old school and not so because most of all these people so far have been like, hello, you know, this is your blood test. Are you okay? Do you mind if I take some of your blood? Yeah. Is it okay? Like, and actually addressing her because I yeah. don't know how ultimately you teach a child that they have autonomy over their own body if grown ups in a position of power are exerting their power disrespectfully. Yeah. It just sort of reminds me of, of that, the Mad Men bit where, uh, like, um, uh, Betty uh, Draper goes in for therapy and then the therapist calls up her husband, Don, to explain, oh, like, yeah. the results of the therapy. It's like, you sort of feel yeah. like, as, as the sort of circle of empathy expands and as the circle of, like, respecting people expands, women can actually, you know, you can actually talk to them. They're humans. Yeah, yeah. The next thing is children yeah. are actually people. Stop being a... Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, she's it. used to being involved in conversation. Like, I don't, I don't, I try very hard not to, like, do stuff to her. But then mm. we did have a separate conversation. It was like, okay, I understand that you didn't want to listen to the doctor. I get it. She was rude. She didn't respect you, blah. Mm. But I, I explained it to you. And why didn't you respect your mother? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I felt I had a heart. It took me eight years. I spent a whole day processing it and feeling like trying to work out if I'd, you know, done a bad parenting thing or not, or should I have blah, blah. It was one of those. Mm. Anyway, how's that's your right. week? <laughs> I guess that's why there's so much Christian dogma about respecting your parents, because it's the only way to get children to listen, to tell them that God's going to beat them up. Uh, well, I, I was like, I discussed uh, it with, with uh, Nick in the evening, because my brother, sister and I have a story of being in a bar and I observed something mm. weird and I just went over to them and was like, we're going and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. they just got their stuff and left and yeah, yeah. they were one of them was with a friend i don't know which one and they said oh what, what and they why are we going? Like, we're going because ivanka podcast. said yeah. oh we had it <laughs> ivanka's in but charge I was like, so, ivanka's <laughs> in charge but i was like i need to get to a point with with my daughter where it's like when we're out because when we're out and about or something where i can go you know come over here or, or whatever it might be yeah, and, and that we it. can discuss it later <laughs> you need to uh, it's like <laughs> You got to do it because you got to trust me here that I'm gonna I'm not gonna let something bad happen, but also if something bad is happening and all that anyway. Yeah, yeah. You I need your daughter day. to it took be me as, hours. As obedient as your siblings. Anyway, it's, my, me. it's never gonna happen. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, me. Um, it's because you can't use anyway. force. You can't. You can't have a fight. With you. <laughs> you can't beat up your children like you can your siblings. Exactly. <laughs> Um, how am I? I am. This is the last recording in London for a few weeks. Oh, we weeks! Are going to Italy next Thursday. Is that allowed? Um, well, they're they're re well. I think it's allowed anyway. I think we can go because it's, it's not a holiday. It's like we're seeing it's like family. But um, 
it is like loosening some rules on the 17th so that's what so, so we're going on the 20th so um it should be all right and also sharon's getting vaccinated today i got vaccinated last you know two weeks ago uh, both of her parents are vaccinated so we'll go and we'll quarantine for like five days or whatever but i think it's i think we can in good conscience <laughs> take this trip yeah um but yeah that's uh, so i'm looking forward to that um being somewhere else for a finally for a change yeah, um, and seeing family how nice yeah. for Sharon yeah my yeah, mum should yeah, be coming family. soon uh, apparently we're going to get spoiled as well so I'm looking forward to that of I course. never get spoiled so, well I do by Sharon yeah. and her family so that's good <laughs> so that's a lie you can choose people to spoil you um, also like I got my granddad's birth certificate through this week as well so that means his Irish um, county carry birth certificate so I, 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 that's the next stage in that um, getting my EU uh, credentials back and uh, Sharon got off her sister her uh, EU citizenship uh, British citizenship um, training materials so that's got all this stuff about Henry VIII's wives and the words to God save the Queen and nonsense like that, that they have do you to know all the uh, answers to all no. the questions uh, well, I care <laughs> all this stuff about how like you have to like you have to pledge allegiance to the Queen and all this stuff and it's like I'm very aligned with the queen (laughs) I've not done that Um, yeah it's a lot of it's very silly and like it's just the list of the British values which of these are British values can't get I can't remember it I'm not going to try and parody it but it's like community something or other apparently is a British value oh is it so there we go Um, and yeah that's 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 the um, that's the bulk of my week I've just been working. It's just I'm just really, really bored of my existence. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, to my friendly rankers. Jolly uh, podcast. I just need something. Uh, yeah, so I think it's going to be good to have a change of scenery. And um, I don't know. I've just finished a couple of major bits of work, and it's um, it's just I just need to like pull the trigger on telling people about it. But I'm just having that. Just got to make sure these last little bugs sorted and then we can i can talk about it and then maybe we'll move the needle on a couple of things and um i was looking at the moon yesterday out the window and thinking like you can't even see how that's moving maybe that's what i'm doing i'm just moving something very very big which is why it's moving so imperceptibly slowly um so philosophical nice the options are either i uh fail to get it to move (laughs) or it's just like once it's moving it's gonna really be moving which is the theory of it all right that's the that's the capitalism thing. That's the yeah. wealth generation thing. It's like it's harder to get rolling, but once you do, then it's genuine you can have made in the shade everything you want. <laughs> By all right, all um, the things. Let me jump into this. Guess what this is? So instead of a music clip, that was Ivanka's frog video. Um, this week, I um, I undertook some work on my app Dungood. I, well, I finally mm-hmm. shipped some work on Dungood where I re-implemented all of the billing um, infrastructure. Um, where before, I had the ability to take payments and start a subscription. But if you clicked uh, downgrade my subscription, it said, please contact support. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it really needs also if you tried to change plans, it could end up like billing you twice. And like, this was all discovered by one of my one one of my very few paying users, uh, who is a, also a friend. And he said, "Oh, this happened to me." This happened. I was like, immediate refund, blah blah. blah. Uh, but I finally sort of got rants, re re implemented all that, sorted it all out, uh, made all the web hooks, etc. Um, so on Saturday, I finally deployed all these changes where I'd removed this not like deliberate dark pattern, more just a dark pattern that had sort of happened because I didn't have time to like to, like flesh everything out. I didn't want to like polish something to a shiny finish when I didn't even know who I was going to have subscribing yet and you know all that kind of stuff. Um, but I did that and um, the very next day it sent, well, I also implemented these, uh, like you get an email like three days before it bills you. So the very next day, my one monthly paying customer I saw got that email and then like immediately canceled his subscription. <laughs> And uh, (laughs) 
So um, it's the sort of the downside of not using dark patterns is people <laughs> can you you sort of like obviously he was like probably didn't want to feel like in strongly enough it was like that's fine it was a bit too much overhead to like have to come to me and say look I just want to cancel and then I have to hurt my feelings directly but so when I I, I implemented the thing that let him indirectly hurt my feelings it was fine and perfectly understandable that and it was kind of I was expecting it. But it was like the very next day, as soon as I kind of sorted it out, it was like, ah, oh, God. So now I'm like, um, but it's all good. It's like, I, I feel like overall, it's a much higher quality of product and um, it needed to be done. You can't just like live off pe- uncancelable subscriptions no. <laughs> and goodwill from your friends. <laughs> no, um, no. But yeah, so that's well, that's my dark pattern story of the week. <laughs> I've got uh, an... Uh, and it, you've reminded me of one that I think is a bit, uh, um, as far as I can gather. So we use MailChimp for the newsletter for Restaurants Brighton. And if people unsubscribe, if we don't archive them, we still pay for them. Oh, yeah, that's rude. And that is rude, I think. And then the other side of it is, you know, like I want people who don't want the newsletter to unsubscribe <laughs> because... Yeah. I have to pay for them. <laughs> and then, right. and do you see what I mean? So it's like, so I'm doing, I'm actually doing a mail out this, hopefully I'll get it out today, which is a, you know, I think we all get them occasionally, which is like, do you still want my newsletter? Because yeah. if you don't, would you mind awfully unsubscribing, mm. please? And there's, a, you know, there's good reasons for it in terms of like, uh, um, you know, it's, a, it's just a waste of money and energy and storage and environment. And it's just bad having all these things sitting around. But trying to get people to like the, the, the kind of antithesis of the, because of the of the dark pattern that has slowly been um, chipped away at of subscribing people to things and making it very hard to unsubscribe or, or people can't be asked to unsubscribe. So you end up with like a, sort of it sort of plays to to mailchimp's benefits it's of no yeah. use to me it doesn't give me anything yeah, these yeah. people that are unsubs- that, that don't open yeah. um but yeah that's my little that's what you reminded me of I've they kind this, of work in funny ways i've had this recent spate of like spam emails just coming into my inbox and i think it's because some other michael forrest has subs- i think that i got like a flight confirmation for meant for some oh, other dear. michael forrest today it's like wow. what are you doing with your life michael forrest um <laughs> other michael forest other and um michael. but yeah like i, do, I can't every like gmail I, can't, I keep clicking like report spam unsubscribe on these emails and they just keep coming in so i don't know what's going on there like um no. yeah we're not really rewarded for sort of largely i'd say we're not rewarded for actually reporting these things i mean i i am um, but yeah i think it's a uh, uh to, but i i mean obviously my example i don't think is the the most devious Mm. Um, and but the only reason I would not I have known about this Mailchimp thing is because we've been going through a COVID. Where are we wasting money? Like yeah, what money yeah, is like a wasting? A, yeah. uh, what are we paying for? Are we paying too much? Have we bought too much of it? And all of that stuff. Um, we. Yeah, uh, that's the only reason that I even looked s- into the Mailchimp yeah. thing. It's no other reason. S- yeah, definitely happens, doesn't it? Like um, I, I was going to say um. But yeah, like is that? But yeah, definitely like recurring subscriptions. Oh, it's a di- sorry. Yeah, but that's that's email, isn't it? So that's um. Uh, but recurring yeah. subscriptions that you can't get out of is one of those. It's a pain. one of the dark patterns. Definitely one of them. And and I'm actually like this is one of like a, it was like I I know like I, a, an Apple person has said to me like you know we well we you know I've been in a room with some Apple people marketing people and they've said yeah like we we don't really think like. Um, kind of getting people to subscribe to something that they then forget about is a particularly good business model or <laughs> sort of proud. But I think they're still like doing it nevertheless. And um, there's this, uh, and that's actually like something that um, the the person that finally unsubscri- unsubscribed to my, uh, my tongue had said, like people do value something they already have more than something that they've got to sort of check out and pay for now. So like, it's a strange thing. Um the whole kind of psychology of subscriptions. Because I should probably well, cancel my... I'm paying for YouTube. I'm paying for Apple Music. I'm paying for, like, too many things. I don't know. I think I'm paying for enough things. I don't know. Disney well, Plus. Well, I don't, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't. I go through these kind of phases. I've talked about the fact that we should cancel a bunch of them for. Um, well, that we should cancel a load of them for uh, the summer because we don't watch as much telly in the summer. Mm. Summer's happening. We spend a lot more time outside. What is the point of paying for? You know, the, literally, probably um, Disney Plus is a recent addition. Last few months, mm. I resisted for ages, and then, um, but I'm still paying for Netflix, which we don't seem to be watching I, as Netflix much. Netflix has been like I really should have cancelled our Netflix subscription a few months ago because it's been dry. <laughs> And there's yeah. rumblings, a lot of rumblings about how dry Netflix has become and like it's expensive as well. Like it's like £14 or something, our subscription. It's like, it? yeah, because I've got like the, it's the one that lets you have 4K and like, yeah, it gives you a oh, couple okay. of family accounts. I think my parents are on my Netflix, but it's, yeah. it's a lot. But and- I think that yeah, the, the thing that's tricky about these is, so, um, which is like, so one of the things we're referring to, which I think we should mention is darkpatterns.org. Yeah. which is a site put together by Harry Brignall, Dr. Harry Brignall, PhD, <laughs> who, um, who I, I've worked with before and, uh, you know, did, I've, I, I know from the user researcher circuit mm-hmm. and he's also Brightonian. Oh. So uh, many, many points of contact, but, uh, but you know, we're, we're stealing heavily or, or maybe stealing is the wrong word. We are oh, celebrating yeah. his work. Referencing some <laughs> Referencing. work, but also like but looking he, at some other stuff in the same, you know. But he's got this, that expression he calls a roach motel, roach. where you sort of, where you yeah. can subscribe really easily, but trying to get out of the premium subscription is really, really hard. And everybody tries it. I've tried to unsubscribe from the New York Times about 20 million oh, times God. they've got that phone call thing i think the yeah, t- Sunday it's like, times as well like that you have to you, call someone up and they keep saying why do you want to cancel it yeah, but are you sure you want to cancel this, this is a chat one and i'm like well because i just don't take the time to be oh but you know well and then your business yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly it's like you have to be really firm um so yeah there's a few i mean i i can sort of basically if you look at your story as well the whole you know, you're as soon as you can unsubscribe, people do. Yeah. And if you make it too easy, you know, you do want to make, you know. But we've been watching uh, Nathan for you. Are you familiar with this uh, Canadian? No. Uh, he's like, I, I, I majored in business studies with really good grades, and now I'm going to help businesses. And comes up with these like far, far fetched ways of helping businesses, like. Um, but one of the ones he did was, um, right, we're going to advertise $1 a gallon or whatever it is, petrol, uh, gas, on this big sign of this station. But when people um, come in, like there's some small print on the receipt that means they have to collect their rebate from the top of this mountain. <laughs> it's like a day-long hike to get on this mountain. And then people like literally were like, yeah, I've got, I'm not doing anything. So he ends up like going up this mountain with all these, like a, this sort of ragtag bunch of people that want their gas rebate. And like um, sort of uh, like slowly they sort of eventually pick, and once they get to the top of the mountain, that's not even it. It's like now there's a series of riddles that they have to solve and they have to camp overnight and they have to do all this stuff to get this rebate but, but, um, but yeah it but was, that's a per- perfect perfect illustration perfect of why it's so ridiculous because the offline version just wouldn't but like it's comedy w- is it is comedy, totally. It's like, but that's what it is sometimes. It's like, you know, that, the, there's the video on the on the Dark Patterns website showing how hard it is to unsubscribe from Amazon, mm. and you know, you got to find it. Blah blah blah. It's like it is ridiculous. It's Maybe really I rude. Go darker with my patterns again. Because <laughs> they have to talk to me. Um, there was the, the other one was Michael. like we're selling beer to underage people, so you can buy the beer, but we hold on to it until you're 21 but you can have a picture of yourself <laughs> taken with the beard <laughs> but yeah like small print isn't it it's like fine print is this whole uh, like ripe for nonsense really um, and it's yeah. it's a bit gross how these because the, the trouble is like and, and the, the, the trouble is like sometimes it's, it's it's also quite takes quite a lot of technical work to implement to not implement a dark pattern sometimes. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes it's yeah, a lot easier. It is. Like if I could just uh, it, like, and you're not incentivized to make it a good user experience. So it's like you just sort of end up. It yeah, it just but the, but the price for that 
because I, I looked to because I, I looked to this um, platform Coda, uh, which I which is a sort of like spreadsheet database type document platform that is quite powerful for creating. I use it to create my reports and things and do some other things. I use it to update the uh, podcast uh, episode titles. Um, and all sorts, but uh, it's I, I sort of followed their model of like they they warn you when a subscription's um, expiring and or like about to be billed, and then you come in and and mm. I have cancelled it, but then I've resumed it again, and I just have this overall, and I you know I had to sort of like um and r over whether I was going to pay for it, but I was like I think it's worth it because otherwise I'm going to be building all this stuff from scratch, and it's going to take hours out of my week every week, and this way I can actually sort of get the same results without, and that's how I prototyped done good that the app was in this on this platform, so I sort of looked to it as a sort of reference point so I th- and I think the benefits are like it does it does like instill you with some loyalty um, when someone does make it easy to cancel the subscription and resubscribe and not, and not make it a yeah. pain in the ass. I, I think it's it's respectful there's a yeah. few things that do it well I think Riverford where I used to get my veggie box which I now buy my mum's veggie box right. from but you can pause you can you can pause for as long as you want you can um, you can cancel and clock. You're like there's no big deal, but I think being able to pause is really helpful. And it recently, noteworthy in my world of subscriptions is the money I give to the um, the uh, campaign to make ecocide illegal. Right. And that I give them ten euros a month, and I get notified every month just ahead of. Are you sure we're about to take yeah. payment? Is that cool? Are you ready? You know, whereas. Um, uh, and there been no, there's been no push to get me to pay more. And yeah. I'm like, no, I am ready. You can have your ten euros. <laughs> Please, well, we do just <laughs> make ecocide illegal. You know, it's like. A- well, we we have our veggie box, it, and it's not Riverford. It's Abel and Cole. But like, I'd I'd sort of started to feel like there was some some something going on with that because like some you have this veggie but on some some weeks it's just like hard to get through all the vegetables and you just um you sort of cut, you're like I just want to like skip this week and actually like that was. I couldn't see a way to do it. And then there's all this stuff about, oh, well, our list is full. And if you try, if you just cancel it and resubscribe, you might not be able to, you know, like yeah. get, fire it up so again. You- but because we're going on holiday, like, we're, well, it's not a holiday. We're going, we're relocating for a bit. <laughs> uh, but, but it meant I, I, it meant I had to sort of revisit that. And I saw that they had a holidays tab and I could have just skipped by like, put you just put in which dates you're going to be away. Um, and then I was like, okay, so that's how you do it. I just needed to realize that that was how they were talking that was about the terminology. It. Yeah. yeah. No, but, um, I mean- it, it wasn't easy to just sort of in the course of normal life, just sort of like pause it for a week which is what I wanted to do. But, but that's the thing, like from a design, from a user, I was, I've been talking to people about that this week. It's like the word you were looking for was pause or not have one, not yeah. holiday. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like what the word you have in your head, if what's available in navigation doesn't fit. I, I don't know if you know, you probably know because of what you do, but um, the, the word information sent is batted around in, in UX or in user research so it's like the word you have when you come to an interface you're kind of sniffing around one way or another for Mm. for a word that matches the thing you're looking for and if they're so far apart which is a little it's a lot of what amazon are doing to help to stop you finding their cancel close my Mm. account because you think well i want to close my account i should go to account oh but it's not in account (laughs) it's in help yeah. Uh, but it's not in there because it's like it's so far yes technically and probably legally you could find it but yeah eventually why so would you be time. looking in help when what you want to do is cancel or close your account it's, do you know what i mean so it's to like the top of the amazon information <laughs> mountain and be very confused about everything <laughs> yeah. Privacy zuckering is a thing, apparently. Yes. Not sure what it is. You're tricked into publicly sharing more information about yourself than you really intended to. 
um, data oh. brokerage, all that kind of. Did you see the uh, campaign? I shared that, didn't I? That campaign where um, uh, Signal, um, the Signal Messenger, tried to create yeah. some ads on Facebook that just told you what Facebook was, what Knows information Facebook you. was using to uh, to um, target you, and Facebook's like, no. Which is just like if you needed proof that Facebook's goals are not to be transparent about that sort of thing, because it's their, like one of their core business models is you not really realizing how precisely targeted you're being. It's, it's so, and that I I I know I think I know we've already talked about this, but it it makes more money, yeah, to be sneaky, yeah. but you know so does you know people make if we go for that our offline analogies again like a lot of this is like those people on the you know doing card tricks as uh, on the on the side of the road or you know in the to 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 get to trick money out of you it's well, literally end, that <laughs> it's misdirection it is literally tricking people it's, it's the guy with the tall unicycle in um covent garden you like that keeps talking to you, he actually never gets on that freaking unicycle <laughs> he just it's a prop that you're like when's he gonna get on the unicycle when's he gonna get on the tall unicycle he's never getting and there's a person coming around taking money off everyone and it's like it's a whole thing it's like but what that's exactly but like it's just because it's sort of it's, I think it goes with this interesting bit in this um, that Hello World book, which is my new mm. favourite book. I downloaded it. Weeks. I read it on um, the flight. <laughs> but she talk talks about, about how much we trust computers, mm. like as as she, like things that happen. Like people trust their. She's got the story of the guy that follows his Tom Tom off nearly off this side of a cliff, like the edge of a cliff, mm. or all this kind of thing. It's like because a computer said so, because it appears in a sensible looking website or it appears oh, like yeah, on yeah. and it's so easy with the website i've done user research where people there's literally a photograph of a padlock on a page and that will contribute to feeling people's feeling that it's a trustworthy site like it's really really easy to make something look trustworthy whereas in covent garden some carney walking around with a hat and it's like you know your your your, your radar's up of the kind of like am i about to be conned like the- oh well i mean but more so like this is and this is this is the sad thing it's like we're so like i uh my reflex you know i lived in brixton my reflex for someone asking approaching me in the street is so sorry mate sorry mate like I, I, there is no way I'm ever even getting eye contact with someone that looks like they might, and and that's that's dark in itself because where yeah whereas I will I think and I think a lot of people will have that will have built up that guard but in a, and but they should be building it up for to against Amazon and yeah. and uh, Zuckerberg I mean, and meanwhile we're kind of like that you know it may be part of a scheme they may be. You know, there's all these tricks that people that are asking for money or even like, I don't know, I think they syndicate people, women with babies and all this. I don't know. Like, yeah, it's yeah, all you hear like all these story. things, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just but like, you OK, I'm just going to donate to a charity and not. And, but actually, probably you'd be better off giving some money to someone. Trouble is, you, I don't want to yeah. get into a freaking conservative tirade, but like the trouble is then you you mark yourself out and you're just like, if I've ever given a pound to someone in Brixton, they're going to follow me all the way home and ask for another one. And, you know, it's like, uh, <laughs> like it's yeah. so hard. Like it's like the scammers. Um, have you, have I, you have talked about the gym. What's his face? The scammer channel. Like once you fall for one scam, you're on that list and your number is twice as fat. It's much more valuable and will be oh, sold. Really? Like someone you've been you've f- fallen for one scam. So now you're on a list and you're going to keep getting scam calls forever now because they know that you're someone that is susceptible to this sort of thing. So that whole thing, like trouble is, we're all being scammed now <laughs> without yeah, even yeah, realizing. Yeah, all the time. It. We got a call. Nick got a call on his mobile this week from the National Crime Agency. It said, oh. it "said your national insurance number is about to get blocked or something." Oh my and God. I was like, "It was at one of those recordings." It's a very sensible yeah. sounding chap who lent his voice to the to the scam. But uh, but obviously, you know, it was like, oh, "Cheers, put the phone down." But it's like it's so hard. And then when you know when people phone up and they're trying to be genuine. <laughs> like 
what? It's hard. Who you are just, you? Yeah, you're on your guard all the time. And uh, yeah, definitely. Um, but, and especially what, if you can yeah. automate that phone call and just like scale it to thousands of calls every hour. Like, you know, it's you're going to just find those needles in the haystack of gullibility and, and they're going to they're going to send you money when you edit their HTML page via a remote desktop to say their bank balance is different to what it is. And then they send you the money back, but you make them go and buy gift certificates and walk to the bank and coach them in what not to say to the bank and it's crazy it's like crazy the stuff that yeah to go through to I, I, scan I, you. but you, but you see i think what's what's insidious about the privacy zuckering yeah. and those types of things and the donald trump pattern well let's yeah it's like here's some so in on facebook so let's you know you're all my friends are there those are people i trust are on facebook mm. They're already there. Why Why would I doubt this Facebook thing that everybody seems to be like, everybody got on the train. Why wouldn't I get on the train? Like, well, you know, what's the, and it's, and, and for Donald Trump to trick people is just, a, that is, you know, that's like, the, that's the worst kind of trickery. Because yeah. it's wanna... like, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take all that trust I want to build, and now nah, then I'm going to rob you. Exploit it. I'm going to put some music in so that we can do a segment on the Donald Trump thing. Yeah, so Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump. I want to know why it's such a um, right. This I'm showing on the I'm showing on the thing the Trump thing, the uh, dark pattern Trump. Sorry, you're showing on the thing. On the thing on the Twitch. Um, on the mirroring it. This amazing um, the check boxes they had in their thing. And I think everyone knows about this now, but I just want to read out. This is the final. And, and when I make a word louder, that means that it's capitalized. And it's black, dark black, bold on yellow with a red border. So you know it's important. This is the final month until Election Day. And we need every patriot stepping up if we're going to win four more years for President Trump. He's revitalizing our economy, restoring law and order and returning us to American greatness. But he's not done yet. This is your chance to stand with President Trump and maximize your impact now. And then it says under that, make this a weekly recurring donation until then, until November. And then the second one. President Trump, October 9th, months, 25 days out from Election Day. American patriots like you inspired me to keep fighting this past week, and I'm not done yet. I'm asking you to join Operation MAGA and help me secure victory in November. Join the movement now. Donate an additional $100 automatically. Like, not in bold anymore. <laughs> Underneath in the same checkbox. Um, it's taken it to an extreme, isn't it? Are we, are we saying that there's a correlation between Trump supporters and gullible scam people oh, i'm not saying that i think that it's a I, I think it's more like a it just shows the 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 how low what low life he is mm -hmm. really he that is that sort of thing isn't it that that is just like it, how you know how dare he really <laughs> if you think you know, all these poor people yeah, I go, okay i get you know you got sucked in you believe in whatever i'm not going to go into we've talked about that often enough but then this person that uh, you have decided to put yourself behind then tricks you defrauds you yeah, yeah, absolutely. Robs like, you. Someone puts, wants to donate five hundred dollars, and and it gets his account like taken for three grand, and someone else like nine ninety. This turns Horrendous. into eight thousand dollars, and it's it just like you already used the word. Like it comes down to it, just proves how little respect the 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 you know this person you know, has for like you. This campaign coming has for into you. some, it's like proper confidence trickster. You know, yeah, coming yeah. in, befriending a little old lady and, you know, blah, 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 all those stories you hear about in the newspapers, mm -hmm. it's done, but it's automated. Yeah. And, and it's it, magnified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how does this not, how does this not destroy him on its own? I, I, this is what, this is one thing I just don't understand. Like, when you're doing this stuff out in the open and it's, you know, you can point people at the things and say, look, do you think this is okay? Do you think this is someone that respects you? Or do you think this is someone that's trying to exploit you for their own benefit or what? Like, 
how yeah, but mad do you have you, to be? I, don't, I think it's down to embarrassment. And, like, you know, if you think about the one-to-one confidence trickstering, yeah. um, often, you know, you hear of the stories, it's befriending, it's love, it's, you know, literally pretending. And you're like, but they love me. They, it must have been an accident. Right. I didn't read the thing properly mm. because, you know, they're, they're playing on trust and, and nobody wants to feel like they've been tricked. And, and that's and that's a computer thing as well. Like um, yeah. people always think it's their fault when something doesn't work properly, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like absolutely insane. Like it's not your fault. No, <laughs> you didn't break not... the computer. No, it's like a, it, it's it's just such a and and you know the the, the computer thing emphasise because people have this awe of computers. It's mm. like they're so clever, so clever. Have you seen mm. what it can do? Like what it's done to our lives, and it's just not. It's just a hammer, but it <laughs> happens to be twenty twenty one. So the hammer is a bit cleverer, and it doesn't just bang nails into a wall. And but yet we're still in awe of them. So yeah. and scared of them, like, <laughs> and sort of feel like we can. But we know it's a hammer as well. Like people know it's a very powerful tool, so they're scared to like touch it, and they don't realize that yeah. sometimes there is malice um, in the design of those of those things um, that is literally trying to get money out of them. Um, and but I don't know yeah. if there's a yeah. So I, I think it's a um, I, you know I think that the the, the Donald Trump one is a particularly blatant and dirty example of the of the trickering um, in my opinion yeah. so the, um, the sorts of people that embrace dark patterns are definitely your trump types and that but is it like is it a i mean and it just got and it's the fact that he's not paid rudy like <laughs> he's even his most loyal freaking people, he is just won't even hesitate to screw them over. So it's like you have to be a certain type of person to. Well, it's like you know the sociopaths get into power at the end of the day, and this is the scary thing about all this: the Johnsons and the the, the Trumps get into power because they don't follow the normal expectations. The norms no. as became such an a popular a term during Trump's presidency. Like he's overcome. He's like because it's not like he's break. You can't say he's breaking the law. Yeah. So you, all you're, you're sort of left with this slightly soft and wet thing of like uh, you're destroying. He's he's ignoring norms. And it's and it's, it just doesn't <laughs> yeah. sound as shocking yeah, as yeah. it is, really. Yeah. And, so, I, and I, I think. That is a nice. That is a nice segue into the last point, which is about how do you create laws? How do you turn normal behaviour? Because this isn't like a backstreet bazaar where people can crowd around you. This is the world where we hope that you can't get crowded and berated into handing over your cash, yeah. um, and that you can, you know, you can have some more laws around it. But how do you turn those things into like? Because I think I've got. I think we've got one article. Yeah, that I can't California. find it now, which is just about the um, like the EU trying to turn things into um, law and how you know LinkedIn, for example, got done because they had that dark pattern around um, uh, emailing all your contacts. Uh. <laughs> and wait, sort of it's tricking a, you into giving them all their contacts. Well, I've, I've got this California banning dark patterns um, up on screen as well. But like the trouble is, like you see that EU's attempts to sort of clamp down on cookies and how that manifests in Internet use. It's like it's like law is so inadequate, really. Or like I don't know yeah. how you how you um, yeah, how you legislate against these yeah. things when when it is all about like just getting around it getting around it and you're always going to find a new scam um yeah. uh, it's uh, you just I, and it's it's an arms race at the end of the day like this sort of thing it's like how like what can the law say um, but the trouble is like the internet is in ruins <laughs> like any any blog website now any news website is in ruin like anything you click on now it's like agree to this okay <laughs> yeah, 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 and now yeah. i'm just desensitized to agreeing to everything and i just keep agreeing to things i don't know what i'm agreeing to it's like no, it's worse right. than it was before really um, it is, it is, it is. It's, it's made like, you even less willing to, which is then what tricks you. Like I worked on a on a on a project where we had to, 
we had to get people to agree to something that once they'd agree to, they could be prosecuted on the basis of. Right. And be, so, so it's like, how do you create an interface in a world where everyone goes, yeah, 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 agree, agree, agree? <laughs> mm. How do you create a interface that will stand up in court to say, yeah, the person definitely read the thing and they yeah. definitely were warned and they yeah. definitely, and we ended up using, we used the term rumble strip. Like, okay. because it's like, hang on, no, 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 this isn't a normal terms and conditions. Yeah, yeah. How do we get this? So they, um, uh, so yeah. It's, it's the arms a, race again, all over again. And actually like the right, so this is, this is just um, a sort of, the right place to do this is at the browser level. Like the, so yeah. for the, say the cookie warning thing, like it's not for each website in, in the universe to implement this whole thing. It's for the browser to warn you that some stuff is going to not put a padlock on to show and it's exactly what apple are doing like with safari they've got all this stuff to block third party cookies and like warn you if all this stuff's happening and give sites a score but google chrome isn't going to ever have that sort of thing in it because it's google's business model to do that sort of thing yeah. but apple versus facebook the ios 14 thing where basically loads of what facebook's doing will immediately come into contravention of apple's privacy um, requirements has just has made a lot of waves and because yeah like unfortunately we need some other big tech company to stand up for our privacy and take our money instead of our data um, but um, it's like yeah that, that you kind of need technological solutions to these problems and um, unfortunately like you know I, I still prefer the EU to not being you know I, I think they're trying, but like it's it's such an arms race and it's such a technical thing that just kind of making every website is it's the wrong way to yeah. it's, it's not going to successfully solve the problem, and no. and who knows what like workarounds. I, I don't, Facebook's basically well, like because yeah. I do log into Facebook ads to see if I can advertise something because I am a business and Facebook unfortunately is freaking a good way to advertise your business. Um, yeah. Um, but like there's so many emails about upcoming iPhone 14 stuff all breaking and sort of putting it on Apple and sort of making it kind of the advertisers problem a bit and I don't know it's it's, it's um, strange and I it don't is. have a good ending for that sentence <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more about um, uh, the the uh, um the whole browser i got my brain got stuck in the whole mm. browser like what's the offline analogies it's like you know there's there's the it's the managing it's the banning the the cfc gases mm. and the um and the um you know making roads safer yeah. and having minimum standards it's yeah. like just because it's on a computer and you can't physically touch it doesn't mean that it shouldn't have some basic safety standards applied yeah. to it and you know if that, that has to be uh, you know I, and i don't know how to get get around you know how to implement it and how that would look because if you think about like hosting companies and all this kind of stuff like who where does the responsibility end um but yeah. i you know there, there's got to be something cleverer than all the little pop-ups and the you know agreeing or disagreeing to cookies um, yeah which we all just it just teaches us to ignore them yeah exactly and then you've got to make a rumble bar and then all the pop-ups and all the websites will adopt that and then you'll have to make a freaking thing yeah, that punches exactly. you in the face until you read <laughs> it. Like, yeah. And then everyone will be doing that and then we'll all be getting punched in the face day and night just for trying to read a blog about how to make a, a trifle. So, yeah. And that's the future of the internet. So we've got that to look <laughs> forward to. So that's 49 minutes. I'm hitting intro slash outro graphics. Thanks for listening to that episode of Michael and Ivanka's Grand Podcast. Why don't you, um, if you like it, why don't you follow me on Twitch so that you can see it live or support us on Patreon. Just get the episodes early, get them video style. I actually put some stuff on screen today. So it's not just Whoa. our beautiful faces. It's also content. You are joking me. Um, where can people find you on the internet, Ivanka? People can find me at Ivanka on Twitter. 
and you can find me at Michael Forrest everywhere. I'm really sorry about if the audio quality of this episode is bad. Uh, I feel like I've I've overcompensated for Ivanka being loud, and now she's super quiet. I can't tell. I'm not going to know until I listen back. <laughs> um, and also these roadworks, there's, there's this building site next to me. So it's probably going to be unlistenable, but hey, that's fine. We just keep squirting them out and <laughs> hopefully... I enjoyed that, though. It's a good chat. Good, good, yes. No, we, we do it for ourselves, really. We do, um, mostly. And I, I'm, I'm quite... It's quite... It's, I've, I've re-realised what a good resource darkpatterns.org is. Hmm. I use the phrase often, but I don't often go and visit the website, so... Hmm. Cheers, Harry! Does it, does it really have any... Does it does it have anything about the benefits of not doing them, or is it just about it's just about shaming, isn't it? It's a good Call question. Shame. It's worth a look anyway. Yeah, darkpatterns.org. Go and have a look, and and like all we can do is like expose these tricks, and then hopefully people become sensitive to them, and then hopefully that sort of incrementally. Look at the state of my. I'm having a haircut tomorrow. That's my. <laughs> it's very exciting. I'm looking at myself and going, "What is this crazy person hair?" Um. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for listening, everyone. Thank you for listening. Uh, to episode 166 of our... It's just a podcast, though. Like, it's fine. It's not. We're going to change the world. It's, maybe yeah. it'll be through this. Maybe not. Little ripples, Michael. Little Making ripples. Little ripples. Anyway, we'll see you, um, see you next week. Take care. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye, bye. bye.